Hey pals, we should chat. Come hang out with us on Twitter at Go With The Heat. Now if you excuse me, I'm going back to brooding over the waters of Biscayne Bay with my alligator at sunset. You enjoy the show. Hello and welcome to Go With The Heat. I'm Dominic. And I'm John. I'm Melissa. And this is your cultural guide to the phenomenon that was Miami Vice. This week, we're talking about Season 3, Episode 23, titled Everybody's in Showbiz, the penultimate second-to-last episode of Season 3. It's getting getting good now. We're getting to the end of the season here. (laughs) I I have a feeling there's some Very dramatic. Yes, very. (laughs) I have a feeling we're going to have some mixed reactions on this episode, but I'm just going to come out and say ahead of time, I actually kind of enjoyed this one, even though it wasn't good. I can't explain why. (laughs) <laughs> i don't know we're gonna have some definite interesting conversation at the end of this it originally premiered on may 1st 1987 it was written by reynaldo povode and i'm i hope i'm pronouncing that right this is the only episode he ever wrote he's a super successful playwright who won a ton of awards and unfortunately he died of AIDS at the age of 34 in 1994. So that also might be the influence of the um, artiste direction of the stage performances in this episode. It's written by a very successful playwright. That's true. That would make sense. <laughs> and also Dennis Koopa. <laughs> Koopa again? He also wrote it too. So which we know him from Made for Each Other, Sons and Lovers, The Good Caller, Streetwise, Red Tape. This is his last episode he wrote though. So he's been around a little bit. It is directed by Richard Compton. So again, another accomplished director, plus Reynaldo, he wrote and directed a ton of episodes Richard Compton did, including Down for the Count Part 1 and 2, and he's got like six more episodes coming. So both the writer and director have been around for a while, to say the least. (laughs) (laughs) All right, John, so if last week was the week of the returning music, this week is something totally new. So this better not be coming because every song is by the same person and that person's not very interesting. Sorry, Chris. <laughs> we have the songs The Leader, Vision, and What About Me by Chris the Berg, a.k.a. Christopher John Davison. That's and even better. That's not even his real name. <laughs> Chris Berg's not even his real name. He's a British-Irish singer, songwriter, and instrumentalist. His style is known as art rock. Basically, the music is supposed to be uh, like some kind of performance. I, I, I don't know, guys. <laughs> uh, uh, kind of peeked at the music next week, and it's going to be almost all the same artists, too. And I'm getting scared. I, I'm scared for where my music is going. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about Chris the Berg. He had several top 40 hits in the UK. He had two top 40 hits in the US. Most of his popularity, or most where he charted, was in Norway and Brazil. Huge in Norway. They love him in <laughs> Norway. He's most famous for his 1986 song, The Lady in Red. His song, The Lady in Red, went number one in several countries, so it by far was his biggest hit. He's actually sold over 45 million albums worldwide. Once again, he was huge in Norway and Brazil. (laughs) Um, and, And He was actually born in Argentina. His dad was a colonel and British diplomat, his mom an Irish secretary, and his dad actually had considerable farming interests. He spent most of his early years in Malta, Nigeria, and Zaire before the family finally settled down in uh, Bargy Castle in County Works for Ireland, which was castle is actually his grandfather had bought and fixed up into a hotel in the 60s. And where Chris, when he was young, used to perform for guests. Once he actually, after completing college and earning himself a Master's of Arts degree in French, English, and History, he got his first record contract in 1974, supported Super Tramp on their Crime of Century tour. I'm listening. Uh, basically, I love Super Tramp. Yeah, not bad, not bad. His early success, he was charting... Mostly in Europe and South America. Like I said before, he was big in Norway (laughs) and Brazil. (laughs) 
in the 1980s is when he would have his success in the UK and his small success in the US, eventually falling back on the fact that he was big in Brazil and Norway. <laughs> and he's, he still performs now. He's, uh, he, he's big in Brazil and <laughs> Norway. <laughs> <laughs> a, a few <laughs> things you might not know about him <laughs> is his daughter Rosanna was the 2003 winner of the Miss World competition. Oh, uh, damn. She won representing Ireland. The next thing you might not know about him is in, in 1994. Allegedly. He had an affair with a 19 year old nanny while his wife was in the hospital recovering from a broken neck after a horseback riding accident. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh-huh. He wins. That's a pretty uh in two thousand eleven he sold some bottles of wine from his wine cellar for over half a million dollars and so for some reason that's kind of a big deal. And a big enough <laughs> deal to make it in his biography. <laughs> So, and I, I should really be careful with what I say about Chris DeBerg because apparently he has pursued and won 16 defamation actions. So, uh, <laughs> wow. Doesn't take criticism well. He really doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't. If you have to, Chris, well, we love you. I think he makes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he makes fantastic music. Go out and check out his albums. <laughs> he's he's incredible. Um, and, and obviously he's incredible because he's big in Norway and Brazil. And he's not at all a cheater either. <laughs> so there's your music. Oh, man, this one went way off the rails that I thought where it was going to go. Because when I saw that it was the same guy, the three songs that I listened to the songs, I'm like, oh. They're not good. <laughs> why, why couldn't they just have Jan Hammer do this music? This <laughs> sounds just like Jan Hammer music. Why'd they have to bring in someone else to do this? <laughs> <laughs> That's going to do it for us this week. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Go With The Heat. We would love, love, love to hear from you. Email us, go with the heat at gmail.com or tweet at us at go with the heat. You can get us on Facebook, facebook.com slash go with the heat. Reach out to us, talk to us. Let us know what you think on this episode in particular. Let us know if you think that Pedo would have been the better lead than Mikey. <laughs> Just saying, <laughs> like they had an A-list actor there. They Maybe they could have leveraged him somehow. <laughs> Let us know what your thoughts are on this episode. Email us, go with the heat at gmail.com, Twitter at go with the heat, Facebook.com slash go with the heat. Be sure to check out the website, go with the heat.com. You can find all the ways to contact us. You can also find all the ways to subscribe. We have some upcoming fantastic rundown shows co- coming for you. One, we have a season three recap and a look forward to season four. So that always happens. And then we're going to do another episode where we have, we're going to run down some of our favorite moments. And we're going to introduce something new that we're working on. As I mentioned last week, Miami Vice only has five seasons. And we are about a year away from ending our rundown on Miami Vice. And we would love to do some more shows. Go to the website. Go with the heat.com, click on support, see all the ways that you can support us, including leaving us a review on your podcast of choice, contacting us. And if you'd like some extra steps that you might be able to do to show us your support and let us know how we can proceed and where we should go, because we're going to start talking about this real serious. Be sure to check out the website, go with the, go with the heat.com and click on support and you can find all the things that I'm talking about. That's going to do it for us this week. We hope you enjoyed this episode and we'll see y'all next time. Bye, pal.